Good morning, students. Our topic for this morning is expanding brackets. So our lesson objective is to be able to simplify expressions using the distributive law to expand brackets. For the starter, I'd like you to pause the video, try these questions, spend no more than 10 minutes. Once you have finished, resume the video and check for your answers. Here are your answers. Please mark them. Pause the video so you can get the answers. And then resume to move to the next slide. We're going to expand brackets now. And it says, if asked to expand brackets, we multiply all the terms inside our bracket by the number or term that is in front of it. Please write the examples in your book. Now, here's our first example, 3 bracket a plus 2, which means that we need to multiply 3 times what's in our bracket. Now we have two terms in our bracket, and they are a and positive 2, a plus 2. Now, I've drawn two boxes, and I have split the terms in the bracket and written them above the boxes. To the left of the boxes, I have written the number 3, and that's our number that was in front of the brackets. Now, all we need to do is multiply them. So, 3 times a will give us 3a, and 3 times 2 will give us 6. Because we got a positive 6 in our box, when we are writing our answer, we need to write 3a plus 6. Now let's move on to our second example. This time we have 4 multiplied by a plus b plus 5. So 4 needs to multiply everything that is inside of the bracket. So again, I've drawn 3 boxes because this time I have 3 terms in the bracket. I have a, b, and 5. And so I've split those terms from the bracket and I've written them above the boxes. To the left of the box, I have written 4 because that's the number that's outside of the bracket. And so we should multiply. So we do 4 times a to get 4a, 4 times b to get 4b, and 4 times 5 to get 20. And so when we write our answer, it will be 4a plus 4b plus 20. And it's plus 4b because we got a positive 4b in our box and plus 20 because we got a positive now, 20. Now, let's our look box. at our third example. The two terms in the brackets are 2a and 5. And so I've drawn two boxes and above those boxes, I have written those two terms. To the left of the box, again, I write 2 because that's a number in front of the bracket. All we need to do is multiply to get our answer. So 2 times 2a will give us 4a and 2 times 5 will give us 10. And so our answer will be 4a plus 10. Now I'd like for us to do this example. And this time, a letter or term is outside of the bracket. It's in front of the bracket. And also, there are three terms inside the bracket. We use the same method. So I've drawn three boxes. And I have split up the terms in the brackets, right, written them on top of the boxes. And then the number that in front of, or the letter in front of the bracket goes to the left. So all I'm going to do is multiply. So we have a times a, which is a squared. Then we have a times positive 2b, which is 2ab. And then we have a times c, which is ac. And so our answer will be a squared plus 2ab plus ac. Now, 
Here are a few examples, but I would like for you to try them before I go through the solution. I've written in the orange box that you should remember that a negative times a positive will give you negative and a negative times a negative will give you a positive. And so I've already set up the boxes for you. So all you will need to do is multiply the terms by the number that is to the left. So pause your video, try to get your answer, resume the video, then we will discuss the solution. Thanks for trying that. Now, let us look at what our answer should be. So we have to multiply negative seven by X and we should multiply negative seven by positive Y. So both terms X and Y are positive and if we multiply a negative times a positive, we should get negative. So negative seven times positive x is a minus seven x, and a negative seven times a positive y is gonna be a minus seven y. And so our answer is minus seven x minus seven y. Please give this question a go. Pause the video, see what you come up with, and then resume the video to check if you got it right. Okay, so here we go. We need to multiply the minus 5 by a, by minus b, and by minus three. And so we go with minus five times positive a, negative times positive is negative, so we get a minus five a. Then a minus five times a minus b, or a negative five times a negative b, negative times negative is positive, so we get positive five b. Then a negative five, times a negative three is positive 15. So our answer should be minus five A plus five B plus 15. Now, let us look at this question. John says four times X minus three is equal to four X minus seven. And we need to check for his mistake. Now we know that we are supposed to for expanding the brackets, we have our two boxes for the terms in the bracket. So we have a positive x and we have a minus 3. And then our 4 will go in front. And then we multiply that. So it gives us 4 times x, 4x. And 4 times a minus 3 is a minus 12. And so the answer should actually be 4x minus 12. So it therefore means that... And John's mistake was he did not multiply 4 times minus 3 correctly. He got minus 7, but our answer should be minus 12 for that. And so his mistake was multiplying 4 times minus 3 incorrectly. Now I would like for you to look at this question, pause the video, give it a go, resume and see if you got this one correct okay let us check where the mistake is so when we're expanding brackets we should have two boxes for two terms that are inside the bracket so we have x and we have minus y in front of that, we should have a minus 2. Then we multiply. Minus 2 times x is minus 2x. Minus 2 times minus y is a positive 2y. So we can clearly see that our answer should be minus 2x plus 2y because this is positive. Now if you look at Lal's answer, he has minus 2x, which is correct. The error is that he got 
minus 2y instead of plus 2y. So again, he multiplied a negative times negative to be a negative when it should be a negative times negative will give us a positive. So that's his mistake. He multiplied minus 2 times minus y incorrectly. Let's look at this question. It says John is two years older than Jack. Kim is three times John's age. Write an expression for Jack's age, John's age, and Kim's age. In the question, it says John is two years older than Jack. It has not told us anything about Jack's age, so we do not know Jack's age. So we can use a letter to represent his age, and that could be X, could be Y, P, whatever letter you like. You can use that to represent Jack's age. Now it says John is two years older, so we need to add two onto Jack's age to get John's age. So if Jack is X and John is two years older, we just need to add two. So that is John's age. It says Kim is three times John's age. Now John's age is X plus two. And it says it's three times John's age that Kim is and so we need to have John's age but then it's three times this so we would have to multiply John's age by three and when we simplify that the three would go in front of the bracket x plus two and we can also expand that so if we expand, we have two boxes for the numbers in the term, the term, sorry, in the bracket. So it's x plus 2 and 3 in front, and then we multiply. So 3 times x is 3x, three, 3 times 2 is 6. So it therefore means that Kim's age is 3x plus 6. I would like for you to try this question, so expand the bracket please, pause the video, try to get an answer, then resume to check if you got it right. Okay, as you know, we will split the terms in the bracket, 2a and 3b, write them on top of the box, says then the number in front of the bracket will go to the left. Then we multiply. So we multiply 2 times 2a to get 4a, then 2 times 3b to get 6b. So our answer is 4a plus 6b. Now I would like for you to try this question to the right. Pause the video, expand the bracket, see what you get, resume to see the correct answer. All right, we will split the terms in a bracket, A, 3B, and minus C. And the term in front of the bracket will go to the left of the boxes. Then we multiply. 3A times A, A times A, A squared. So we end up with 3A squared. Then we will multiply 3A times 3B. We multiply 3 times 3 to get 9 and a times a to get a b and our final multiplication is going to be 3a times minus c negative times positive will give us negative and then a times c a c the 3 remains so it's 3 a c 3 a squared 9 a b minus 3ac and that's our answer three squared plus 9ab minus 3ac here are some questions that you will pause the video for and you will attempt to do then resume to check your answer
right. We have two terms in the bracket. We write them on top of two boxes. The number in front, the letter in front, goes to the left. Multiply. So your answer is ax because a times x is just ax and a times y is ay. There is the answer ax plus ay. Pause the video and give this question a go, then resume to check your answer. Again, we split the terms in the bracket, so it's x and minus y that go on top of the box, and the x that's in front of the bracket will go on the left, and we multiply. So x times x is x squared, and x times minus y is minus xy, so your answer is x squared minus xy. And the last one on this slide, pause the video and attempt the question. Resume to check for the answer. Again, we're going to split the terms in the bracket. We have three terms, x plus 2 and minus z. And the number that is in front of the bracket will go to the left. And then we multiply. So x times x, x squared. x times 2, 2x. And x times minus z is minus xz. So our final answer is x squared plus 2x minus xz. Notice, even though we have x's going all the way across, they are different. We have x squared here, we have x only, and then we have xz. So they are separate terms which cannot be combined, so the answer will remain the same. Now, here's an extension task. I'd like you to give it a go, see what you come up with. So pause your video, then resume to see what the answer should be. Again, we split the terms and write them on top of the boxes. And again, the letter in front of the bracket will go to the left. So we need to multiply x times x squared and that is just x times x times x which gives us x cubed and then we also need to multiply x times 3x and that is just 3 times x times x so I have only just rearranged the multiplication to make it suitable for us and so we end up with 3x squared. So our answer is x cubed and 3x squared which is x cubed plus 3x squared. Try this last one on this slide to see what you come up with. Again, we split the terms in the bracket and write them above the boxes and our letter on the front or in front of the bracket will go to the left. And as we know, we need to multiply. So it'll be a times a, which is a squared, and then a times a b, which is a times a a squared, b, and then we need to multiply a times negative a squared. So we know positive times negative should give us negative. And then a times a squared is going to be a cubed because of a times a times a. That's our a squared, so it's a times a times a, which gives us a cubed. So our final answer is a squared plus a squared b 
minus a cube. Let's check this question. Kim says x bracket x plus y close bracket is equal to 2x plus xy. What is her mistake? Pause the video, give it a go, then resume to check your answer. All right, we are going to expand the brackets. So we are going to have two boxes as there are two terms in the bracket, x and y. And the letter in front is x, so we put it to the left of the box, we multiply them. x times x gives us x squared, x times y gives us xy. And all we need to do is check if that x squared plus xy matches up with Kim's um, answer. She has the positive xy, but she does not have 2x. She, sorry, she does not have x squared. Instead, she has 2x, and that is the wrong bit. So her error would be multiplying x times x wrong. x times x is x squared, not 2x. This symbol means not equal. So x squared is not equal to 2x. Now, here's another question. Find an expression for the area of the rectangle. We know that the area for a rectangle is length times width. Here, in this question, the length is x plus 5 and we need to multiply by the width, which is 2. This is the entire length, and therefore, we need to put brackets in because 2 needs to multiply everything. So, we can simplify that to be 2 times x plus 5. If we're going to expand that to write the simplified expression, we would split the bracket to x plus 5, x above one box, plus 5 above one box, and then 2 in front. And so we need to now multiply 2 times x, 2x, 2 times 5 is 10. And so the expression that we need is 2x plus 10. Now I would like you to use the link below to access the worksheet, then choose to do bronze, silver, or gold. So bronze, you'll only do question one on the worksheet, silver, question two on the worksheet, gold, question three, and the extension task is question four. Once you have finished, you will mark, I will include the link to the answers, and then once you mark your work, you can submit that to show my homework for me to check your progress. If you need any assistance during, the, during any point on the lesson, please send me a message and I will respond as soon as I can. Thank you.